Hey guys, Chris here. Today I want to do a quick video about heat set threaded inserts and when it's best to use them. I use them a lot in Delrin and FDM 3D printed parts, like from your printer bot or maker bot. They don't work in SLA 3D printed parts, like from my Formlabs 2 printer, but anything that melts should be fine. They sell install kits, or you can make a special tool that fits in the soldering iron if you use them a lot or in production, but I just use the fat soldering tip that came with my soldering iron. Uh, you'll need a big one, 70 or 80 watts, otherwise you'll be sitting there forever trying to melt the plastic. So, when should you use these little guys? I use them most often when I have to screw together plastic prototype parts from Protolabs or FDM 3D printed parts. They give you professional looking and reusable threads without having to use through bolts or nuts. I've also seen them used in a production setting where it was cheaper than insert molding threaded inserts into injection molded parts. They just use a small heat plate to heat up the inserts and then an arbor press to install them. All right, so this is what a heat set threaded insert looks like. You press it into a pre-drilled hole in some plastic material and when that material cools, you have some nice reusable threads in your part. Uh, you can tell by the ridges and steps in the part here that it resists pull out and torque pretty well. So once you have your hot soldering iron and your hole drilled, you just drop the insert in the hole, then you push down on it with the hot soldering iron and wait a few seconds until it starts to sink in. You shouldn't have to push super hard. Your main job is to make sure it gets installed straight and flush. If you mess it up, you can always reheat it and reposition it. I usually get them from McMaster Car, and once you find the size you want, they have downloadable models and a spec sheet explaining the recommended hole size. So you can see here for this insert, the hole should be 0.363 at the top and 0.349 at the bottom, which is almost a three degree cone. But to be honest, I usually just split the difference and go with a straight hole. I'm sure I'm not getting the most strength out of the insert that I could, but I'm not usually putting a ton of load on these guys. Another benefit of these heat set threaded inserts is that they're relatively short, so you don't have to have room for a tap drill. You can have fully formed threads down to the bottom of a shallow hole without much trouble. They also don't bulge the surrounding plastic like press-in threaded inserts, so if you have thin walls in your part, this is the way to go. Well, I hope heat set threaded inserts can help you out of a jam, and let me know in the comments if you have any other cool tips for threading prototype parts. Thanks, have a good one.